I'm really excited for an excuse to get out of LA. <laughs> was this a bad idea? Hi friends, good morning. How are ya? Guess where we are? We're in LA. Um, we're in LA. And I'm getting ready for the day because I'm about to head out to my church's conference. And I have feelings and thoughts about being here that I didn't exactly expect for me to have. So I figured I'd just start this vlog with a little get ready with me as I get ready to leave, explaining why I ended up coming back to LA and kind of how I'm feeling about it all. And I ordered in a pumpkin spice latte because this Airbnb doesn't have a coffee maker. <laughs> so if you keep up with my channel, you know that I came to LA a couple months ago as an attempt to reclaim memories. Quick, quick TLDRs. I lived here for six years, went through a really messy divorce, moved back home to Texas, and a couple months ago was my first time coming back. And I came back being like, I'm gonna find closure, say bye to all the friends I didn't say bye to. But then a lot more happened um, the week I was here around my divorce. That was like a ton of information came out I didn't know, and it was just so stressful messy, traumatic. When I came back this time, my, my thought process, my mentality was, okay, you've done all of the hard work. You've done all of the emotional, messy, hard work. Um, that week's never gonna happen again. So like heavy week has commenced and now you can go back and like just have fun. And that's kind of what I thought would happen. But driving from LAX to this Airbnb last night, I kind of felt like now there's even more <laughs> trauma in the city. It feels like Trauma city times two, I think just like having the silence and the space makes everything feel heavier. I'm hoping that once I get to be around my friends today, literally everybody I know will be at this conference today, which is awesome. But I'm hoping that those feelings of like heaviness will subside when I remember how much good is also here. So I don't know, that's how I'm feeling. That's a long get ready with me chat. Um, I'm gonna finish getting ready and we'll see where the day takes us. Here's my outfit of the day. I don't know how to feel about it, but I don't really have many options. I have a bodysuit, Nancy Drew skirt, this cropped cardigan from my recent Everland haul. Has that come out yet? I think so. And then these boots with a little ruffle sock. I thought it would be fall-ish, church-ish, also Mikel ish <laughs> oh yeah i remembered one other thing about conference every year it's normally in this very cool theater in downtown los angeles called the ace which is at like an awesome hotel good memories um so i booked this trip when i thought that was the case and then i found out this year for the first time ever it's in pasadena where i used to live and where i am always on edge of running into people i don't want to see so i think that's another reason i'm feeling a little bit like was oh, this a bad idea we're gonna go find out right now was great in, in some regards I was talking to one of the pastors and I was like yeah it's weird because I realized like I don't really want to spend time in the city but I really want to spend time in this room with these people and this room just happens to be in this city so getting to connect with all of that community is a really great reminder of like there is such goodness here even if like the city itself I have a different relationship with. I think my experience would have been pretty different if we were in downtown versus Pasadena because I just can't help but feel like my guard is up in Pasadena. Like I'm just scanning every car that passes by and just like, I'm not fully myself, I'm not fully present and I wasn't able to, you know, have as great of conversations and just be as there as I probably could have been if we weren't in Pasadena. So I think that that kind of made me feel a little bit weird um, of just being like, I'm not giving my best self right now. And of course you don't have to give your best self to be accepted, but I think it just kind of like changed my perception and my ability to be me. But I have a little funny story. I just forget how LA is. 
like I forget that LA is this way, but we had a little lunch break. And so we went to, to this like small, I wouldn't quite call it hole in the wall, but maybe neighborhood sandwich shop right behind the church. And guess who was there getting a sandwich? Olivia Rodrigo was literally there getting a sandwich. <laughs> I didn't even know she lived in LA, but I guess everybody lives in LA or spends a lot of time in LA when you're in that industry. Let's go get a matcha. Let's see if it was worth an extra 15 minutes in Pasadena. Yes, it was very worth it. But now let's get the heck out of Pasadena and not come back for the rest of the trip. Yay! Made it back to my Airbnb right at sunset and like I didn't really notice how cute this pink wall is when I checked in because I checked in at night but I feel like that would be such a cute backdrop for like a little outfit photo. I wonder if I should get one. What do we think? <sighs> Too dark. I think I gotta try again tomorrow. But um, something that I really noticed about just correlating my physical well-being to my mental health is the days that I take an evening to get everything in order and like take care of my physical being typically that means like nice long shower skincare routine and eat something really yummy those are the days that I feel so refreshed and rejuvenated and like life is in order and I feel like after you know a busy travel day yesterday and then a more socially and emotionally draining day today that is exactly what i needed and i got a discount code for postmates so i ordered sugarfish my favorite sushi i'm just gonna like take care of my body because i know it will help my brain and my heart a big part of my skincare routine is this little bottle right here this is by agency and i've been using this brand for a couple of years now i'm getting to work with them on today's video so I'm very, very thankful. I use their future formula and I'll tell you a little bit more about it, but the thing I hear the most from my mom and my grandma and just like the older women in my life who also share my genetics <laughs> is that they always say, I wish I took better care of my skin when I was your age. Like it starts now. And they say that with just skincare in general, they say that with SPF. And I see that as a gift that they're telling me this because I'm like, great. Thank you, I'm gonna take your knowledge and your experiences and really take care of my skin right now. For a while, I was using Agency's sister brand, Curology, more acne focused, but since then my skin has cleared. And so I have been doing more future focused skincare. So this is their future formula. Um, it is customized to me. And the way that I did that is I, I have a profile and I log in and I, have like a little chat room with my dermatology provider. I send them pictures of my skin. I tell them my goals, what I want to focus on. And then they're able to create me this little custom blend with several different active ingredients on it for me, for my skin, for my lifestyle, for my goals, which has been awesome. And I check in with them every once in a while. They ask how it's going. Over time, they've been able to make it stronger for me. And it's been fantastic. I do have a link for y'all. If you haven't tried agency before, I, did this exact same thing when I was trying to get familiar if it would work for me or not. But basically I have a link and you can click on that. You can sign up, take the quiz, talk to a dermatology provider and get the whole first month for free. All you pay is shipping and handling, which is $4.95. And then you can decide if you wanna to subscribe to it monthly or not. I put this on at nighttime after I wash my face. I have a little footage showing you what it looks like. Also, here's just like a skin update of what my skin's looking like right now. I've seen a reduction in like dark spots and um, just like an overall firmness as well is something that I've noticed, but the Future Formula helps to reduce fine lines. It also helps to smooth texture. It um, helps reduce some discoloration, which was probably my biggest goal. I had, you know, just a little bit of scarring and also helps to keep pores clear, which is another thing that is genetic in my family is we get pore problems easier than most people, I would say. <laughs> also, they have a different formula very similar to the future formula, but it's a dark spot formula if that is more of your focus. The things that I like about it too, it's vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free. I don't know why fragrance and skincare always gets me. I'm like, why is this in there? So I always look for fragrance-free if I can find it, and I am thankful this is fragrance-free. So thanks again to Agency for partnering with me on this video and for helping make my skincare routine more efficient and more effective. <laughs> So I'll have that down below for you if you want to check it out as well. I'm going to get on my routine. In fact, I think my sushi is almost here. And normally on a Saturday, it's so like, it's like a two hour wait. But this time it was like a 30 minute wait, which is awesome. Jordy just texted me, met a long-term subscriber of you 
last night at the Phoenix show, and she says she loves you and is praying for you. That makes me emo. Thank you. If that was you, thank you. <laughs> sometimes I remember how awesome everybody is. Not that I forget, but like sometimes it just hits me. I'm also just feeling emotionally heightened while being here. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday. I got a lot of sleep last night. Feeling really good. Um, interesting thing is I've started trying to take Sundays off, like offline, as a Sabbath. This was actually homework from my therapist. And just with travel and everything, it's kind of weird that this vlog is a Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And I want to kind of respect Sunday as much as possible, but I don't want to take a chunk, a whole day, out of the middle of a vlog. I feel like that feels weird. So I figured a way to bring you along on today, but also feel like I'm not working, is just get clips throughout the day. I am so excited for today. I think today is going to be very, like, fulfilling. I spending this morning in LA getting brunch with a couple of my closest friends in LA, and then I'm actually going to head down to Oceanside, which is like north of San Diego. That's where Jordy lives now, and I'm dying to see his church. I did eight hours of mosaic yesterday, and I've just been so curious. He loves his church, and I feel like that is really important, and I want to see it. So I'm actually going to go from brunch here in LA to meet Jordy in Oceanside, see his church. He has like an evening service, maybe do dinner with him, walk the beach, and just like enjoy an unplugged day. I'm excited for community, for new experiences, and I'm honestly, I'm really excited for an excuse to get out of LA <laughs> and go see a part of Southern California that I love. I really like the San Diego area. It feels a lot slower, a lot more. The area he's in is a lot more small town, quaint, cute. I just feel like I can breathe there and um, I'm excited to have an excuse to not be in this busy, crazy city, but instead be somewhere beautiful and life-giving. Thankful. Let's do it. Hey, we both know So hey, why should we wait another night? Oh, I'm alright for now, but I need you around. Good morning, it's Monday. I made a funny little mistake. In my mind I was like, I'll continue the vlog to Monday. And then I realized late last night, oh we gotta edit this vlog on Monday. <laughs> so this vlog is continuing to Monday morning and guess who I have? Oh hey. What are we doing? We're gonna get some coffee and some toast. We're going to... Revolution. Rev Revolution. Roasters. They have very fun fancy toasts and you can make them gluten free. Yeah, gluten free toast. And then you're gonna surf and I'm gonna work. And I might go look at the beach when you surf. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell us what you got. I got a morning bun. A bun for the morning. It looks very good. And what what is it? It's like like a cinnamon roll with some party tricks. But it looks layered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Croissanti. A uh, cinnamon roll will be layered. It's croissanti. Are you gonna eat it? You don't have no. to. Yes, I will. <laughs> it's got a buttery, flaky crust. Yeah, buttery. A little hard to chew. Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> they have so many gluten-free things here that I ordered a toast that has like Brussels sprouts and bacon jam and stuff. Um, they're making that right now, but then this pumpkin bread is also gluten-free and I don't know the last time I had pumpkin bread. Probably like freshman year of high school at Starbucks because I got diagnosed in early high school. So give this a little taste. Oh, that tastes real. I found this lovely little bench with these birds of paradise and my coffee and look at the view. 
I'm still out of LA and I can breathe a lot better down here. And I kind of don't want to go back to LA for this trip. <laughs> so I remember how last time I was in LA, I worked with three people and Jacqueline, my sister picked out the outfits. So it was all like a surprise for me. It was very fun. Well, apparently after I left, I just sent the stuff to a friend's house. Um, after I left, more packages arrived and this tank was one of them. And it is so cute. It has like this floral stitch embroidery and it comes in a ton of colors and it's fitted and I just tucked it into jeans and it kind of looks like a bodysuit and now I want to get it in more colors I really like it although I will say I tried wearing it without a bra and I think I need to put on a bra because it's not super supportive but the straps are thick so I think it would actually hide straps pretty well um, but I just feel like it was a little gift that this this showed up a little bit later it's like a little gift for coming back so this weekend has been a very reflective weekend for several reasons. Um, obviously, eight hours of wisdom from Mosaic Conference gave me a lot to think about. Going to Jordy's church gave me more to think about from that message. Also, just like being back here, assessing how I feel, how I feel in LA versus like South, more San Diego area. I've just taken a lot of time to just kind of like sit and think and reflect. And I wrote down a few things that stood out to me over the weekend, um, mostly the quotes of what people said. This first one is actually my favorite out of all of them. So sorry to start with the most meaningful to me first, but it's just the order I wrote them down in. Um, and this was said by the pastor of my old church, Pastor Irwin, and just like a candid, they were just podcasting, they are just talking and chatting, and he just drops bombs. And the thing I like about him is he's not afraid to be like so honest that it could be offensive to some people, if that makes sense. And he's, he said, he said, this is not going to be popular. And then said the sentence, he said, you're ability to forgive and your inability to let go of offense has everything to do with arrogance and humility. I feel like sometimes we can think like that person owes me an apology. They owe that to me and I'm not going to forgive them till they give it to me. And that has everything to do with arrogance or letting go of like resentment towards someone has everything to do with humility. And I thought that was interesting because I feel like I'm pretty okay of like moving on and, and forgetting things until I'm back <laughs> where I'm constantly reminded of it. And some people might disagree. Honestly, it's a bold statement. So I'm still like kind of, you know, processing what all I believe about that. But I was like, Ooh, I think I needed to hear that. This was another thing he said that I just thought was interesting is that there was a study that was conducted trying to figure out like what led people to be more successful. And so they studied a ton of incredibly successful people, whether they were successful in their craft or, you know, built incredible businesses, wealthy, financially successful, whatever, and kind of compared it to like average human patterns. And one of the main things that they noticed about people that ended up being incredibly successful was that in times of crisis, they moved toward extreme calm. So they remain calm and level-headed throughout crisis when most people would be like panicked and uh, frazzled is a word I use for myself all the time. I get frazzled very easily. Cultivating calmness could be a really healthy thing in my life and something that I could be intentional about moving forward. Another thing is there's a talk about like building momentum, building momentum and um, in something that you're doing or creating or, you know, your own life. Someone asked a question and this was just another just candid response from someone. He was like, well, you know, there's a difference between momentum and velocity. Velocity doesn't have any density. You're just, you're just moving fast. There's not like meat to it. Momentum has meat, has density. And he said, and sometimes with velocity, you move so fast that you're just going by yourself. And community is the most important part, like having people along there with you. And I thought that was interesting that like sometimes we try to build momentum. So we're like, I guess to do this thing I'm trying to do, I'll just I'll just move fast. But sometimes moving fast without others or without substance or without intentionality is just it's just velocity. It's not actually momentum. And then last night, something that stuck out from the talk in the, in the San Diego church is, um, you know, sometimes we can just ask God to, to reframe how we see situations. And I thought that was interesting because I think a lot of times I personally pray for God to change situations. It's okay to pray to get out of it, but I just thought it was an interesting perspective to pray to have your mind, your thoughts about the situation you're in reframed. Like, Lord, help me see beauty in this season. Lord, help me find a lesson that I can carry with me through the rest of my life in this season. Help me find a purpose in this season. Help me, um, when people say things to me that feel offensive, help me see it differently. Help me um, see it from their point of view and through a more loving and compassionate perspective. Help me just reframe my thoughts so that 
you know, you really can't control what happens to you. You really can't. You can only control how you perceive it. So if you were to pray to have your perception reframed, I bet life would be a lot easier to navigate and a lot more enjoyable to navigate as well. Also, since, uh, you know, this vlog has to be edited today, I'm going to end it here and I'm going to put on a bra. <laughs> we'll see what the next vlog is like. Uh, I have one more Southern California vlog. We'll see if I'm in LA or Oceanside. I called my mom and she's like, I, I hope you stay in Oceanside because that is, that feels, that feels better for you. I feel like LA is just reliving a lot of the past and Oceanside is like exploring something new and I think she's right. So I'll probably listen to my mom and the next vlog will probably be in Oceanside. There's so many cute thrift shops here. Maybe we can do some thrifting together. Yeah. A lot of things that I really love and people are so friendly here just on my little walk just now. Every person that passed me made eye contact with me and smiled. I was like, wow. Anyways, I got off on a tangent. I wanted to say thanks again to Agency for working with me on this video. I will have that link down below. If you want to try your first month for free, just pay shipping and handling. It is really cool to go on and do the quiz and like see how mindful they are about actually getting to know you and your skin and creating something for you. It feels cool. So I'll have that down below, but I love y'all. Thank you for spending this weird little weekend with me. It always feels better having you by my side. So I appreciate that. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign Just give me one more, talking to you Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here?